In today's video, I'm going to go over the basics of WinAero Tweaker and why I think you should A, always have it on your computer and B, whenever you do a setup, use WinAero Tweaker to make your life a lot simpler. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, a good place to start this video would be to download WinAero Tweaker. So go to your browser, just type in WinAero Tweaker and then the first website is going to show you, it's going to say download when air tweaker. Just click on that link and then just scroll down until you find this download link. Click here to download the file, just select that. And then that's going to download when air tweaker zip folder. So just go ahead and open that up. As you can see, I've already done this. But just go ahead and um, unzip or uh, extract that folder. And don't worry about the first file in your assignment setup. Just drag WinAero Tweaker to your downloads folder. Uh, as you can see, I've already done this. And then what you're gonna do is just run this as an administrator um, and then install it to your C drive. Typically, it's gonna install to C drive program files x86. So just go ahead and do that. In the meantime, guys, if you are subscribed to my channel, please just make sure that you have that little notification bell or notification icon selected over here. It really will help me with the algorithm. Whenever I drop a new video, you will be notified instantaneously. Guys, I need help with that algorithm. I'm looking to grow. And then for those of you that have not subscribed but are watching this video, if at, if at the end of this video you find this content helpful, please consider subscribing and then naturally selecting that notification icon so that you can help me with the algorithm. But at that, let's get to the rest of the video. So once we have an error tweaker installed, just go ahead and open up an error tweaker. First and foremost, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this little cog preferences. And then similar with Windows updates, I don't like updates running in the background. It does steal a slight bit of system resources. So just go updates, check for updates and just untick this and then save settings. It should be a blank box over here. From there, uh, for the users following on Windows 11, I'm on Windows 10, there's no Windows 11 tab here, but you're going to have a Windows 11 tab. If you do want to use the classic context menu, I'm talking about this menu over here in Windows 10, you know, the, the very easy little context menu. Um, instead, in Windows 11, once you right click on the desktop, it's going to give you the new context menu and then, then at the bottom you have to go to uh, go for further options and then it opens up the regular context menu. If you want that context menu, in that uh, in that tab that says Windows 11, just go ahead and select Classic Context Menu and instantaneously it will give you that old school context menu. Very cool. Now moving on to Windows 10 and Windows 11 optimization so everybody can follow along. So you're going to go to Behavior. In Behavior, just select Ads and Unwanted Apps. Just select Disable Ads in Windows and just go ahead um, and that will select all of these and then you can just or select personalized, uh, personalized ads, tailored experience and so it should stop all forms of ads in Windows which is pretty cool. Um, next two settings are settings that I just do for quality of life. You don't have to do this. I like to disable error shake and then also disable error snap. So just make sure these are selected over here. Next one is quite an important one hibernation options just go ahead and select disable hibernation and this is going to prevent you from being able to put your computer into state of hibernation the only reason you do this is this can cause some a small bit of stutter uh, once you go from hibernation into normal mode so it's just always convenient to disable hibernation mode next menu show delay this is an awesome little feature uh, very cool especially when you're setting up a computer so you don't have to go into the reg edit and change menu show delay a uh, couple entries just to get uh, menu show delay to function across your, your uh, laptop or pc so by default windows animates or uh, windows uh, animations um, have a 400 millisecond delay so once you drag a uh, menu show delay from 400 to zero what you'll notice instead of having like a little delay your windows will look a lot snappier and that's a very cool feature of a uh, win error tweaker very very uh, convenient that it has that in power throttling 
just go ahead and select disable power throttling and then I'll do myself later. Furthermore, uh, the only other thing that we're going to do in behavior is probably one of the coolest features in WinRare Tweaker. We're going to go to split threshold for service toast. And what you're going to do here is you don't have to enter anything. You're just going to click on set above RAM. There we go. And you select I'll do myself later. What this is going to do, and let me just show you how quickly. I've already selected this, so I've already got split threshold above my RAM amount. But if you look at Task Manager, and if you haven't done this before, you're going to have, you see, I've got about 15 to 20 service host entries. If you don't change your service host and set it above RAM amount, your service host is going to be anywhere between 30 to 50 service host entries by default. And this is just going to take up extra RAM and extra CPU that you don't need to use. The reason this is this way, Service Host was implemented when Windows was still Windows 32-bit as opposed to 64-bit. So when it was 32-bit, the maximum amount of RAM that you could have with your Windows was 4 gigabytes. So to save space, they used to packet services. And since they have upgraded to 64-bit, you don't need to packet services. So all these Service Host, all they do is actually take up CPU and RAM. So just go ahead, uh, set above RAM amount, and then just click I'll do myself later. Once you restart your computer, you'll notice that the service host has been, uh, two thirds uh, of the service hosts have actually been uh, gotten rid of. Very, very cool way of saving some RAM. Next, boot and logon, we can skip over that. Unless you want to disable blur on the sign-in screen, just makes the sign-in screen clear, which is quite cool. Desktop and taskbar, there's not really much we're going to do in here. I always like to put my Windows version on the desktop. So if you want to do that, show Windows version on desktop, just tick that. And that's going to prompt you to say, I'll do myself later. As you can see, uh, that's my Windows version on my desktop. Then next, context menu. Very cool settings uh, that you can find in here. In the context menu, um, I like to have command prompt as administrator so I don't have to open my run box and then um, select command prompt as administrator. So if you uh, just select our add elevated command prompt to the context menu, so what it's going to do is there I can just open command prompt as administrator just by opening up my context menu, which is a very cool feature. And then we're going to go down a little bit. Um, run with priority and then just add run with priority to the context menu just to show you what that's going to look like so let me go to where my games are so i have a way to put games into our priority by reg edit but if some other reason that doesn't work and you want to run your game in a high priority all you need to do is find your executable so i'm i'm this is i'm just using days gone as an example so just right click your, your executable and then go to run with priority and now you can either run it in real time, high, above normal, normal, below normal or below. Obviously you'd either be using a high or real time, but that's such a cool little function to have. Right, returning to the context menu, the only other thing that we're going to do here is select take ownership. Add take ownership to the context menu and folders. And I'm going to tell, I'll show you exactly why we're going to do that. So um, in Windows settings, uh, you can go to gaming and you can disable the Xbox game bar. But irrespective of that, every time you run a game in the background, it, there's going to be a little program that's going to run. It's going to be X, uh, uh, game bar presence writer .exe. And it doesn't steal a whole bunch of um, performance, but it does, it does eat away to 1% lows. So now that you have added take ownership to the context menu, what you can do now is you can take ownership of system protected files in system 32 and you can actually now get rid of Game Bar Presence Writer. So just to show you what I mean is we're going to go to system 32 that's in Windows and now we're system 32. Now we're going to look for Game Bar Presence Writer. There we go. So you can see I've already changed it. But what you need to do to get Game Bar Presence Writer to stop running automatically when you start a game 
is once you add a take ownership, what you're going to do is you're just going to open your context menu, take ownership. It's going to give you this little run box. Just press space. And now what you can do is you can select Game Boy Present Writer. And for you, it's just going to say Game Boy Present Writer. And then what you can do is you can just add one, two, three at the end and just click off. So now every time you open up a game in the task manager, there's going to be no Game Boy Present Writer.exe running in the background. Your 1% lows will get a little bit better. Very, very cool. Settings and control panel. Um, I don't do anything in this. In File Explorer, I like to clean up my File Explorer a little bit, just to show you what I mean. So as you can see, I close quick access because I, I don't like this double entry. And then from there, I take out music, I take out a couple of things. So all I have is desktop documents, downloads, pictures and videos. I like my control panel to be, of my File Explorer to be pretty neat. So this, this folder here, is going to enable you to customize your uh, this PC folder. So as you can see, I've already taken out music, I've taken out 3D. So all I have is desktop documents, downloads, pictures, and videos. If you don't want videos in there, all you're going to do is you're going to select remove selected, or what you can do is you can add a custom folder. So if you want to add an extra folder into File Explorer, you can create an extra folder that you can put in there. But it just makes things look a lot cleaner um, and then what you can do the next one would be uh, you can disable the search history which is always cool I'll do myself that later and then file explorer starting folder so by default it's going to be quick quick access I like to put it on this PC because then instead of opening up um, to quick access here it's going to open devices and drives and that's exactly where I want to go. That's where you find all of the data and stuff on your computer. Very, very cool. Other than that, there are a couple of extra things that you could do. Um, um, in my full optimization video, I did show you how to disable UAC. Um, UAC is just that little prompt that opens up every time you're using a program that the computer needs to register. It's just cool to get rid of that. Um, shortcuts, uh, there are a couple of uh, you can disable the shortcut text when you when you post the executable to your to your desktop. You can get rid of the shortcut error, which is quite cool. But these are not settings that are going to change your user experience. They're just going to make things look a little bit cleaner. But you can you you can uh, experiment with that. For for the time being, these are all the ins and outs of Win Era Tweaker, guys. I cannot stress enough. I help a lot of people on Discord, and even people that watch a lot of my videos. After all this time, they don't have an error tweak install. I cannot recommend this program more than I already have. I love this program. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And guys, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. It's a freaking rainy day today, but we're getting closer to Friday. So guys, have a great day. It's people like you. Cheers. Mm -hmm.